Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're doing a little about Kone's Peated Texas Single Malt Pot Distilled 65.2%. What are we going to do? We're going to test it. Test it! Wait for this Plugged up sinuses, Woo, allergy style. Sinuses, sinuses is more the running rather than the plugging. Woo, yeah, so we'll open up with that. You'll probably hear a few sniffles throughout. Basically, I'm causing people to panic whenever I'm around them, Bart, including. Yeah, well, Bart's, Bart's relentless, and he's, he's annoying, matter of fact. <laughs> he's like, we need to get, you need to come over. You need to come over. You need to shoot. Come over. F screw the corona. Just come, we're fine. We're That's fine. Right. I'm like, Bart, just time, wait. It's almost up. Come right at the Hang corner. in there. We're doing good. We don't need to be together yet. Bob. We do. Plus, I don't, I don't want to be near you, right. first of all, because right. you're still hot and heavy in society every day. Wow, that's sexual. Yep. yep. And you <laughs> got people coughing on you, spitting on you, breathing on you. Yeah, there's and shootings. I'm, like, I'm out. Yeah, just I'm stay gonna, away. I was just in a house packed with kids, and they're all coughing. I'm like, anybody in here sick? They're like, two of them. I'm like, no, let's go outside. Bart shows up with my sample, and he st literally stumbles out of his yeah. truck. He like, oh, he's almost falling over. Oh, he's like, whoa, and he's catching his balance. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, just what are you hats, doing? Stay there. Hats all crooked. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, that's why we don't need to be sitting next to each other right there. Yeah, I said, it's just the allergies. I mowed yesterday. The grass was blowing. My eyes were gritty. And we'll, wait, we'll wait for 14 days to make sure it's just allergies. There you go. That's a good point. A good point. <laughs> I hadn't had any whiskey. Yeah, I, was, I felt I was fatigued. I took an antihistamine. <laughs> Got a little lack going on. So I told Bart, I said, let's just film it. I go, if, if you ain't, if you can't smell nothing, just say you can't smell nothing. You're plugged up. I can smell. I, but uh, yeah, you're going to get the sniffles. So the first, back to the Balcones, the first time I got to try this, and I'm not sure if you got a little sneak of it at the time. I did not. Okay, there was a small flask, and I can't remember who from Balcones, and he introduced himself. Sorry. And uh, I heard that maybe in the right front pocket was a flask with peated Balcones single malt. And so I asked, and he looked at me and said, somebody told you. I go, mm-hmm. And he said, well, you are a scotch test dummy. Boom! And I got a little sample. I'm going <laughs> to First of all, anything like that out of a sample, I'm immediately going, ooh, ooh. So we'll get to what I think of this, but you're right. I have been drinking on it pretty good. All right. Mo the nose, I got Texas single malt all over this bad boy. Yeah. Let me get her poured here. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, there's not a lot of peat on the nose, though. There's a lot of sweet. There's a lot of malt. There's a little bit of that Texas sage. Texas heat. I get more Texas sage. Wow, I got all gravelly. <clears throat> my cough. I got more Texas sage brush burnt than what I would say would be the typical peat. Um, and that did surprise me a little bit. A lot of spice as well. Some of the uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah, I get I get real nice sweet cinnamons. And you're right, nutmeg. There is a peated, almost closer to an iodine smell rather than any kind of ashtray or leather. So it hits me more on that iodine side. Now, what's what's about using for peat? I don't know. You know, and does, uh, does it say I didn't know if it said or not? Are they importing peat from Scotland? Let me look at see. We don't read the label. And even is though it Alabama bringing, peat, I know it's pot distilled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Distilled from Highland, peated, golden promise. 
So molten. So they've 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 imported peated barley then. Well, it says uh, promised malted barley, comma, our peated Texas single malt has an early smokiness. Okay, then they go into taste notes. Taste notes. Yeah, so um, bringing to life earliest inspirations, peated single malt whiskey distilled from Highland dash peated golden promise malted barley. There you, you go. Making faces what I was reading. No, huh? not oh. that time. I was about to. If you'd have kept going there a little bit, yeah. If I would have been like, yeah, down glance, here. just glance up once in a while, remind yeah. people you know if they're I, there. If I would have been down here. It says go Texas. Let me read that a little more. You would have been. <laughs> right there, right? Sometimes Bart gets uh, enthralled with the reading and right. I become a, it becomes a reading YouTube show, which is highly entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people are like, look at that. You tune into this guy. What he does, his whole shtick is reads the label. Woo. You like the color as well. Nice, rich color, too. It's got a good, the nose is, uh, uh, reflects the color. Very now. much. Yeah, it's very, it's got that, uh, it's almost got like a reddish hue. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Boy, the palette on that sucker. Woo. Yeah, it'll fight through my sniffles. That's got a lot packed in there. I say, yeah, the, I mean, the peat is coming through. Yeah. That, that Texas sage note that I get from the heat. Yeah, and you're right. It's a good way to describe it's both of those things. It's almost the peat first, the highland peat, and then it moves right into the sagebrush. On first... When it first hits the palate, it really comes across as a nice, rich Elijah Craig barrel proof type note, lots of cinnamons, spices. But then it quickly, that goes away, and that Texas single malt takes over. And you know, you're not sipping a light, like a, a standard bourbon, but right. you're getting a lot of that cask influence so much that the cinnamons, the caramels, spices are there with it. Yeah, you got the, the corn. Texas. Yeah, that Texas kick. Wow. Yep. And then I get in the finish, it's weird for me because I get a touch of like cherry in the yeah, finish. I would, yeah, not a touch. Nice bit of cherry. Now I feel bad. I, I said touch. You're like, not a touch, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I mock your palate. Mm-mm. Mm. So, of course, you know what? I'm sipping it neat. No water, partly because I forgot to fill my little thing. But it's 65.2. And I can, I mean, it's not like it overpowers at that level. I get a little tingle at the end. You know, for 65%, for it's got a really nice mouthfeel. It's still strong. I added a good drop of water. I maybe brought it down to between 55 and 60, maybe 60%, still strong, made it a little bit more astringent, brought out a little bit more of the oak. Mm. I had a bottle down there before and I must have taken it upstairs. Oh, still gosh. nice though, boy, that uh, the healthy drop of water I put in, it didn't hurt it at all. I'm going to add even another one. It did come with this little red ribbon that goes around it with a little rubber tie there, which is kind of, a, I like it. It's Christmassy. <laughs> Shows the little Balcones wax stamp there. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the red, because I'm looking, because I took a, I, I picked that up in Dallas and I sent you a picture to see if you want it. Yeah. So I pulled up a picture with the price, so because I knew we'll be talking about the price here in a little bit. But yeah, it's got that red Christmas bow thing on it, which I don't know the meaning. And on, of a, on a shelf, they just look like a flock of birds. <laughs> a flock of seagulls. Well, and they've got the Balcones Rumble Cask Reserve next to it. Rumble's good. I think I got that one. Yeah, you do have. Because that's the one that's a little bit different. It's Texas Wildflower Honey, Turbinado Sugar, and Mission Fig Spirit. Just sounds delectable, that one. I picked up a couple things. Uh, uh, Christmas on Crestline was down there. First of all, I think he broke his bank in that and in, in spec or uh, total. 
<laughs> it was it was a kid in in the giant KB toy yeah. store for the first time. Yeah, total can uh you can you can overdo it in total, especially for your first trip there. You've got to you got to pare it down. You got to know what's your what are you looking for, you know, and then narrow it down from there because you'll still find 10, 12, 15 bottles and you've got to pare it down from that. See, I think your first experience, though, the first time in a giant warehouse like that, you just go nuts. You just do it. And it's and then you're like, now I need to go in there with a plan. <laughs> Two healthy drops of water. This thing is still, the ABV is still high on this thing. I'm still well into the 50s. I'm going to stay like right here. I like it right here, though. This is really, the palette here is is nice. I mean, it's it's toned it down. It's not so much of the ABV just punching you. Okay. I, I, I'm i going to continue sipping it neat primarily because I don't have my water handy. It sips great neat. I, I too, when I was sipping prior to about a week or two ago, I was adding water to it. I think I like it with a drop of water just to tone down that ABV a touch. All right. Through the magic of editing. Oh, I've yeah. got water. That was real quick for you guys, just like that, and uh, about 30 seconds for Mark. Yes. I may or may not have handled a sniffle as well while I was gone. I literally, uh, while you were gone too, and I sit sitting here and I tasted, so I make, sometimes I make uh, different uh, grilled potatoes or whatnot. I'll put a little rubbed sage on there and even my dressing at Thanksgiving time, throw some sage in, and that's literally that dry sage note. It, it just it popped up and just hit me. That's what it was. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I get uh, with the touch of water, I get more brown sugars mid palate. Honeys. Mm. I'm not sure it, I'm getting the cherry anymore, though. Yeah, there's. Still, I think there's still cherry in there. I think it was more uh, neat, though, especially on the finish. Yeah, the finish is where I got the cherry, and I'm not picking it up now. Woo. Mm hmm Got my Scotch Ford down my shirt on. Woo. Actually wore to work. <laughs> Was underneath. Perfect. All right. I gotta remember to keep looking up here too. Nah, you look around. Oh, you got your score in. Wow. I didn't even see you had your doodle buddy up. Um 91. Yeah. Primarily when uh, I will just say this. So as a peat head, uh, it's definitely good. The peat's a little more subtle. You're getting a lot of that Texas influence, which I love too. So that is not a negative. I had a feeling, I think, when I first heard about it, somehow I was thinking heavy tobaccos from Texas. So tobacco sage. Tobacco is not the peat I get here. It's it's definitely to me more of that touch of iodine, which is great. Sounds weird, but I love that too. So um I, I would know. say I would say if you're expecting I expected more peat. It's still good, it's still delicious, beautiful palate. Slight hints of peat, though. It's in there. Uh, it, that, that Texas influence, though, for uh, of the that whiskey on that wood is so strong. Yes, but at the same time, you mentioned it's a Highland peat or a, a Highland peated barley. Think a lot of, of your Highland peated whiskeys are exactly. they're not as strong. I mean, it's a milder hundred uh, percent. So yep. don't be thinking Isla peat. Don't be thinking Ardbeg Lafroy, anything like that. Yep. Um, even think. I mean. Um, Highland Park level. I mean, just like right. that, that small amount of peat on the palate. Yep. That's it. A hundred percent. Um, and I would be curious. They need to repeat the mirror door and have a mirror door two. Mm -hmm. But then I would love to see a mirror door three peated. Hello. Boom. I want just a mirror door two. I want to see if they can create that magic in a, in a barrel again with a second fill barrel. That was unbelievable, single malt. Good. I want to say that they have done at least another batch of Mirador. Maybe really? Did, did they call it the Mirador 2? No, I think it's just Mirador. I That's think. Confusing. Maybe not. It's confusing to me. 
you'd want to scream at Mirador two. <laughs> it's like Rambo two or Rocky two. You got to bam. <laughs> All right. All right. We're it's a uh, we both oh, uh, seventy five dollars. Yes, good call. Seventy five dollars. Now, why we're here, and I know you're not ready, but we can pause if necessary. We've had a few Patreon people come on. All right, so we got a Patreon uh, shout out to do. We kind of we have felt we've fallen behind. We apologize. Um, well, we did but... the fundraiser. We've been social distancing. So again, if uh, you guys like the show and you want to help out, you can always go to Patreon. Just look up Scotch Test Dummies. But who do we got? We got a special one. That's right. You know, we had come in a uh, a twenty dollars supporter. Woo, big, Mike, big. Mike and Conrad. Nice. Now we're gonna give him. We're gonna shout his name, Mikey Conrad. Right. Mikey can Mike. send us his photo as well, though. Got to cover the pickle if he wants to. And it is Mikey, right? Yep, that's what I've got, Mikey Conrad. All right. So, uh, Mikey, you can send us a photo. You'll actually get a second sh uh, shout out because we'll put you in a later episode. If you want to, it's up to you. But right now, here comes your Scotch God shout out. You ready, Bart? Ready. Mikey, Mikey Conrad. Conrad. Come on down. Come on. I even poured Ooh. a little bit uh, Peter Balcones for him. Ding. See? <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. Big helps. Uh, our bread and butter really helps keep the lights on, as they say. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank you very much for all the Patreon support. You guys and gals are awesome. All right. Good. Thought you had something else you were going to put in. Scotch it. <laughs> you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. Dummies.